What's good, everyone? It's your girl, Miss Led from WeSampleEverything.com with a new video showing you one of the best apps out there on iOS right now, the KB1 Expressive MIDI Controller. Wait till you see what this thing could do. So when you open it up, there's a few updates they just added, and they put some major things in there. So this is what you're going to see when you open it up. And once you get past all of that, you'll have a blank. So I'm just going to go over some of the things up top before we get started. You see you have your tempo, you have your MIDI options here. And then this button on the right is just the about section where you could go to their website, read the manual or contact them. So let's get started. You can add up to five keyboards here. So you hit the add button and you see all the keyboards coming in. It'll tell you when you're at your max. And to delete some, you just hit the X on the right. So I'm just going to take these out and I'm going to leave three open. We're going to play with the options. Each keyboard has a set of its own options. So we're going to go into them and I'm going to show you what this thing could do. It's pretty dope. So now when you open your settings up, you can see what we have in here, the keyboard layout. Let's start with that. So in the keyboard layout, you could change these around. You can have classic, one like the Roly, scale, chord, drum, XY pad, CC control. So you can make each one different. You could change the number of rows you want in each keyboard, two rows, three rows, octaves per row, the row spacing. And certain ones like string, you could even change your scale in there. The root note, the slide feature is amazing. So this is some pretty dope options to have on here. On the bottom, you have other options, your MPE and MIDI, expression, controllers, and you could go in there and change things up, the velocity, the sensitivity. So that's pretty dope. And the MPE is pretty much the slide the MIDI polyphonic expression. And you could adjust this and customize this the way you want with the sensitivity and velocities. You can add an XY pad. You could even switch it over to the right side if you wanted to. This is pretty dope. They put a lot of detail and thought into this. So the best thing about this app is you can now add five different synths or keyboards into this one app, play them all in one app. So now let's get started with our first app. So you want to pick a synth or keys to open up first. So I'm just going to pick unique. I'm going to open it up. Then I'm going to go back to my KB1. And in the output section, you want to click that right here. And you should see unique pop up in the list. So you just click it and boom, that's added to your keyboard. And you can switch things around. Pretty dope, right? Now let's open another one. So I'm going to open up um, iProfit. And we're going to add that into the output of the second keyboard. Just open this, click iProfit. Let's listen. So here you have two different synths in one app that you can play around with. Let's add a few more. Actually, let's go back into the iProfit and just, I'm going to change the preset. 
Because whatever you change it to, it'll be changed there in the KB1. Let's take a look at the drum section. Throw Synth Master Player in there. So you get the hint. You could basically just pile up on synths of keys and, and just have fun playing. Now up top, you can... Write your own preset and save this so that if you want to come back with the same synths, all you have to do is load this up and load up the ones you have in there. And there you go. See all the presets here? And you can make your own preset and save that over here too. So now I'm going to try GarageBand and see if that'll work in here. I'm going to go into the keys in GarageBand. So because GarageBand doesn't pop up here, what you want to pick is Virtual Output. And there we go. I'm going to load up Cubasis 2. Now the dope thing with a few of these apps is they already have built-in presets with the KB1. So like the drums, for instance, you don't have to map it out yourself like Beatmaker 3. It will work, but you have to map it out. So I'm gonna open this up. And Cubase is there, I'm gonna pick. Let's go back to Cubase and actually put some drums in here. I'm going to change this. Right now it's on R&B lead. So that's cool. In the mappings, you can see there's a bunch of different apps already mapped in here. Now I'm going to plug my M Audio into this and see how it works with it. Now, so far, I've been playing with this and I have no issues with crashing or freezing. It runs very smooth. And I didn't have to map anything out for this. As soon as I put it on, as soon as I put the uh, M Audio in, it was good to go. Let me show you a cool thing with the M Audio. You can have two of these keys playing at the same time and make some really crazy sounds. Have a listen.
And the XY pad worked. And yes, guys, this app is AUV3. So you can use it as an audio unit and record out into your AUM. So that's super dope. And a standalone. I love just putting all, piling all these synths and keys on there and just jamming out. I give it a thumbs up. I'm in love with it. You could do some amazing things and sound design in this. So check it out. Shout outs to them, the developers. This is a great app. And I've had it for a little while now and I love it. And the new update is amazing. So yeah, click that like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Check this app out. Check out WeSampleEverything.com for beats, tutorials, sample packs. Check out our new producer forum too. Make a free membership. We're going to be doing some giveaways with some great prizes. We're going to be dropping a new podcast on iOS production real soon. And thanks for watching. Peace.